welcome to Visa V. My name is Victoria Foyt. Uh, my today's guest is a multi-talented hip-hop soul artist. Born in Killeen, Texas, he has uh, traveled and lived across the globe. He's performing as a visual and sound artist. He is pursuing his dreams and career in Warsaw, Poland now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Mantic is here with me. Thank you for coming, thank you for finding time in your hectic life, I guess. Yeah, so far it has been hectic, but hectic is good. Hectic is good. Um, so what, tell me, what and whom in fact is the Blue Mantic? Because it homophones with romantic to yeah, me. <laughs> That's good, because interestingly enough, the word mantic means fulfilling a prophecy or a prophetic word. Okay. So it's deep, right? And blue came from being called this in New York when I was around a lot of friends. And somehow the word B-L-O-O, -O, and it's pronounced blue with the English. And in New York, I started listening to other individuals' languages. And when I was able to use the word blue, not just as a color, and translate it to different languages, right. it started to be really interesting. So the older I got and the more on this journey as an artist, blue is literally the reflection. Blue is the feminine energy in which I dwell. This is the part in the duality of the blue mantic as a whole. Because blue is me and everyone, but mantic is me and my mission. Future, past. That's very meaningful. Um, I love it about artists that they always uh, pick or create those nicknames. Like they're they're always so multi-layered, and uh, actually, I, I love it very much. But blue is not blue as a color. Let's mm. let's clarify that real quick. Sound. It's the sound. Yeah. Tell me, is it challenging to be a creative soul like yourself nowadays? Challenging. I like challenges, but in a sense, it is difficult. It's difficult when you realize we live in a world that is built around progress when it comes to a social structure or system that is primarily based on money, right? So being creative, which all of us are creative, what makes me valuable to the community as a creative? But the more we understand art itself, when an individual puts in the time, the effort, and the skill to create, that does bring value to the community, the culture, and to our you know, evolution, because it is the consciousness flowing through one vessel to share with everyone else. I have to be vulnerable as an artist in order to create so that I can relate and translate this information to a major group. Right. So is it art is the value that's going to save the humanity? That's what you're saying? Uh, in a sense, it will be a piece of it. Everyone needs to find their own art because now I'm starting to see coding as art. Tech is art. Right. It is in a sense, you know, and the beautiful part of art being in between science and spirituality we're biological beings, we're machines. We have to consume energy, right. like gasoline to a car. But then you look at spirituality, it's much deeper than we can even fathom or understand. It's, it's beyond what we see and actually so much deeper from within. So without knowing thyself, how can you know what is outside of you? You call it sacred. Right? You, you like calling it all a sacred ceremony. Sacred, as a word, deals with spiritual. It deals with something that means a lot, but on a spiritual level. And that spiritual vibration and that energy of all of us as individuals reflect and vibrate with emotion. It vibrates with mental. And of course, that somehow communicates with the physical because then it all comes into one. We seem to forget about the sacred.
because someone's told us how to be sacred. There are ways, religion, books, you know, meeting people, but when you don't find your own sacred, you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth and you do your makeup right. and you're enjoying what you're doing because you see how beautiful you are in the mirror. This is your ritual. It's this no ritual. ritual. Exactly. There you go. This is sacred to you. It means something to you. Now, there may be this individual who does not see how sacred it is to you and wants to disrespect it or say something negative. But that's not a problem. This is his reality and we're a shared reality. But you will meet those people who say, girl, I like your sacred. And your sacred might help that other person who hasn't found their sacred. I guess we should say it to each other more often. Like, girl, I, I just like your At sacred. At least, world. right? Even if you don't mean it, like, just, just be nice for no reason. Sure, just be nice, guys. Just be nice. What variety of opportunities and advantages um, can give a relatively niche country place, like in this case, Poland, for, for an artist like yourself? Um, English being one of the main languages spoken around the world, especially in media and right. um, music. Language isn't the problem, it's right? Not. It's one of the, it's a dash of it. But in Poland, what's beautiful is I was able to reflect with people on a level of confusion. And I say this because, first of all, they assume a hip hop artist is street. Right. Right. Second of all, they assume I'm Jamaican. Third of all, they may assume Who I'm from you? Africa. I'm not Jamaican. Oh, sorry. Are you? I'm still waiting for the results of the, uh, right. the this DNA, DNA test. You might be Jamaican, girl. I, I might know. be 100% that. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% black. Hundred percent black. Hundred percent black. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know. It's, it's, it's beautiful. See, even this situation, it's like I'm able to walk around Warsaw and find those people because <laughs> The country itself has its own history. And right. me being so different, the opportunities are unique. So I get to choose those opportunities. If I was Polish, or if I was foreign and began to speak Polish, right. I would become succumbed or subjected to the rules, the ways, the system that is oh, built yeah. here. So the opportunities for me are interesting. And the growth of Warsaw as a city, I'm able to be one of the oh, first. it's fascinating. Yes, it is. Be one of the first individuals and being blessed and honored to be a part of that growth, you know, yeah. and finding those right people to work with. Because there's a lot of people that I tried to work with and learned you're not ready for the development. Yep. That's OK. So the understanding is, is crucial. And we're a very progressive country yes. as whole. Um, but there are still <clears throat> some barriers that are cures in those little moments that we don't want them to happen. Yeah. So I guess, uh, so you say uh, the language is not a barrier. What is language then? Language is a greed, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm not an expert in language. Uh, we're not setting Wikipedia with you right cool. now. Boom. Language for me is an agreed understanding of communication. But communication is deeper than that because 80 to 90% of communication is body language. Right. Whatever I'm saying means only a little bit. It's a fraction. What you're seeing with your eyes and how you reflect with your brain is still a fraction. But what you feel, the intuition is deeper. So language, really, it's just communicating back and forth, trying to figure out what's going to happen for our survival. Okay. Am I going to like this situation? I'll take it. You know, or am I not going to like this situation? I'll take it. You might have heard this before. But um, I fed my ego, but not my soul. Mm. As once said in a uh, Ukrainian-American uh, comedian, mm. um, Yaka Smirnov. Okay. So here's my question. How much ego and soul is in one artist? It depends on the mission of the artist and the intention of their art. Because it could be tons of ego, because the ego needs to be fed. Right. Or it could be tons of soul, where the ego needs to die. But I've chosen to find a balance. You asked me in the beginning, or you asked us in the beginning, what is or who is the blue mantic? Uh, blue is the ego. Okay. Because I'm doing or acting or showing in a reflective way where there's a group of people that like sure, or understand. Sure, you're performing. Yes, but the mantic. It's visual art. 
that? Never heard that before. That's a different compliment. Isn't that? No, but I, I that's how I call you. You're a visual yes. art, a visual and sound artist to me. Uh, but that's that's just me, yeah, I but guess. You see, no, but that's perfect because I've never heard this yet. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that. that's where you go now. You speaking you, out. You made it blush. <laughs> yeah. Romantic. The soul. He is from the past. He's been through a lot. I've been on this planet plenty of times already. There's a lot of things I register even at 28 Earth years. I've seen and understand things on a macro to even a micro level. And it's difficult for the soul to register that information in a reality that's so physical. Right. So I have to balance the ego. That has to meet. It has that's to it. balance. Right. Um, it would seem that Poland could make a perfect white white west for a uh, for person, for a native Texan like you. Um, it's funny how it all relies on a perception, right? Yes, it does. Um, so just point me out some of the main differences you see on an everyday basis between uh, living in um, Texas, US generally, and uh, Poland, Europe. What are the main differences like the differences is uh, we have traditions in texas but uh traditions are a little different the traditions are interestingly quite similar it's just that we have more understanding of different cultures and different people okay. when i visited uh, different countries in europe i realized that i think the word is homogenetic whether the, the where the majority of the people are the same race right yeah this is what was interesting pretty much i've never experienced that we have a common history yes. we all we do yeah so there's a majority of people who understand and register with each other right not just on a personal level but on a community level where i'm from i walk down the street and see a sign that has it's spanish english and chinese right so we're relating information for many different people so um it's different but I still see the similarities. Sure. Especially I mean, with the internet. Right. So, um, what similarities do you actually see? Similarities such as, um, well, for our generation, we're all revolutionary. We're tired of the old ways of doing things. We see that there's a lot of the system that just isn't working. In a peaceful way. In a peaceful way. There we go. I don't know how long it's going to last and work, but yes, peaceful. I just want to underline that. Yes, we need to be peaceful. <laughs> most of the time. So, the vibration of our generation is in the bridge of the elders and the bridge of the youth. So, we feel older and we also feel young enough to do things. It's just, we're going to have to fight and reconstruct the system so that the future can continue. This right. is the similarity that I see. Because whatever's happening in America, Chile, uh, Mexico, Canada, France, Africa, Australia, it's all very similar on a vibrational level. Come on. Like the climate change protests, Thank just you. look at that. It's 150 countries All of our governments countries all don't over the seem world. to care much about us. You yeah. know, we as our generation are, we're communicating with each other finally. Yeah. I guess so. Um, so what are the dynamics of those cultural changes that are occurring right now? Like, are we going the right direction? I don't know what the direction is. I can't say this really. Right. Um, if you look at ancient Egypt, did they know they were going in the right direction? You know? Yeah. Um, I believe that in order for us to move forward uh, as best as possible, we have to be honest with ourselves first. We can't look at a goal or look at a mission or an idea and say, yeah, this is what we want. Because recently I was at a cannabis conference and um, me being so unique to myself, I was surrounded by a lot of business professionals in the industry, right. which, you know, for me, that's a machine, but they're still human beings just working and doing their daily life. Sure. But in the professional world, I noticed that these individuals may primarily be focused on the monetary gain or their position of power or someone's telling them to sell, or they're working because they have nothing else to do and they don't know who they are. But we're speaking about a sacred plant that can do so many things, you know? Not just right. recreational or medicinal, 
You can use clothes. I can make bricks with hemp. There's so many things that can be done with the plant and we're focused on one thing. So where's the place for intention here? It's magic, my dear. All magic is intention. What was your intention when you woke up this morning? What was your intention when you called someone? What do you feel you want to do when you take action? The before of the action gives the action meaning. It's always backed with intention, certain. It's always. Yeah. And some people don't have an intention, which drives them mad because they end up lost. Why do you want to go that way? When you don't know, it's going to be harder. So the intention is the root of it. Because when your intention is good, if everyone in the world ever took my music as negative, right. I don't have to go home and cry because I know what my intention was. So you're saying you don't really see the direction we're going? No. You don't understand it? I or? do. I do. We're facing, do. we're facing the shift where we're going to have to look at the ugly side. Okay. The destructive, the darkness, the shadow. The parts that we were so afraid to see for so long. Especially Europe. Okay, so it will start from Europe. I, um, I didn't say this. You said this. I did not say this. <laughs> We're not live. Forget about it. Sometimes it's difficult to move forward with an answer because the answer gives us an assumption or a reason that's not real. It's like if your parents say you can't go hang out with your friend because. Because what? Because I said so. That's the answer. But does it make sense? And why it might make sense when you're young, but when you're older, you, you think to yourself, I've been listening to my mom or my father say this for 20 years now, and it still doesn't make sense, parents. <laughs> so if I give an answer, if I reflect, I don't have it right now. But for me, the simple part is we have to be honest with ourselves. The more you're honest with yourself, the right. easier it is for me to be honest with you. So what is honest for yourself? like? Should you be like, isn't this like being honest with yourself, increasing the amount of like this egocentrism across the across the world? It could be. Because it's, it's always you, be you, be yourself. It's not about be a part of certain community. It's mm -hmm. about just just one you, individual. How do you see it? Not everyone can be that one you. Some people are... Um, from my experience, some people are better at working with other people, or some people are more comfortable. It's just the way we are. We have to realize that we are human beings, which are consciously and maybe logically, brain-wise, more powerful than animals, but we still relate to animals. You can't tell a lion to act like a monkey. I just, I just can't. You can't. But a lion works really well with other lions. And it okay. works in the same ecosystem with hyenas. Unless it's alpha. Unless it's alpha. <laughs> but we, sometimes we don't we want need, too much alphas. You don't think so? Some, we need alphas. Alphas get things done. So what is alpha to you? For me, an alpha is the individual who takes control, not just reproductively, who <laughs> takes control and takes the actions that a lot of other males are afraid to. It takes a leader. But I'm not an alpha male. I'm a sigma male. Okay. You know what a sigma male is? Explain it to, to us. There's a sexual, social hierarchy, right? So, of course, you have alpha, beta, delta, theta, omega. You have these this hierarchy of individuals who fit in those places. Sigma is the individual. They seem, they call us mysterious, lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a loner because I work very good alone. But at the same time, I'm able to fit myself into certain positions of the sexual, social hierarchy. Right. For animals still. When I talk to women, there's a certain perception they have of me. When I talk to men, there's a certain perception they have of me. It's energy. It's That's all it is. It's energy. But it takes more leaders. And I'm not just saying that there's alpha males. There's alpha females as well. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because in nature, the male Look is mostly me. just to protect. <laughs> <laughs> the alpha male is mostly to protect. But the alpha female, who else will nurture and teach the children? The male has no clue, if any. Sometimes, maybe other animals can <clears throat> raise their young. Well, I guess this invisible exactly. part of us is what But that's really why it takes teamwork. But not just male and female, beyond gender. Right. Masculine and feminine energy. It's going to take us to find a balance to have yeah. that answer for the future. Yeah, what I'm actually 
trying to understand this who's going to teach us this like is this, is this going to be the old generation that's going to pass on some you know like timeless lessons that we're going to they've already no, told us as much as we they have to figure it out on our own yes, on our own yeah you just did it you figured it out on your own Okay, it leads us perfectly to your unrelated business ambitions, <laughs> uh, which is blockchain technology uh -huh. that I was for a while also very passionate about. Um, I want to ask you, why did blockchain become such a um, trend, such a vast trend, like almost a cool person's starter pack? <laughs> like, I call it. Like, I That's true, actually. Explain it. For me, um, the blockchain community invited me first to be a presenter. So as an actor and an artist, to present the information. Because what I noticed is, in the business world and the tech world, those men are very good. Those people are very good. Because it could be, it's most likely there's women doing coding and I just haven't seen them yet. But those individuals are very good at creating something behind the scenes without the presentation of it. This okay. is why I call it art. But at the same time, to present it for people to understand it, it takes an individual who gets people. You understand yeah, what I mean? The, the, the salesman. Are, yes. <laughs> okay. But even not just the, the salesman um, because... Evangelist. Yeah, you can... And evangelist, that's the word. Sorry, evangelist. Sorry. Because I'm taking very boring information. Why would this individual need to know this if it's not relevant to their life at this moment? Right. But the thing is, the future is blockchain. It's a technology, it's, 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 it's written and, and translated and related relative to us that we will need something like this for the future because we're in control of it now. It's something that's under development. I think also for the community, we have to realize that with cryptocurrencies, blockchain, we have to be really weary of the financial sector. The older generation built that. They have that, that's, they have that. That's, that. They don't want anybody to touch that. Right. The future of cryptocurrency, you can't touch cryptocurrency, right? We are moving in the age of Aquarius, so when you start studying astrology, you understand. It's untangible. You can't touch it. But it means something when multiple individuals agree on the value of it and are using it on a valuable level. Sure. So it's going to be the future because we're in control of it. What am I having in uh, my, my hands what is, what is that could you we call it galactic jazz. could you because i did not have time i didn't prepare myself for this interview <laughs> when i arrived to poland i was a part of moldavilki you know this popular and it translated from the american um double xl freshman class where they take the most popular artists or most unique artists or i think you know whoever in that moment is doing something that is going up they take a bunch of us put us in one room and we do multiple things together songs music videos so you're actually able to i was but i only spoke english so this was well, this, it was very unique for that community in poland because for them they're primarily speaking polish now, actually, I actually asked, are you able to work with others? Like, are you yes, able to, who, though, or you're just this one man show? I'm, I'm humble as long as I can be, but now I'm picky. I work way too hard to be having people waste our time. Right. You gotta be good. I'm good at what I do. But I'm honored. Good. I'm honored. I'm honored. This is an album that was uh, created by me and the Harpagans. They're a galactic jazz band and I am a contemporary sacred hip hop artist. Wow. So we sat down together and we created this piece, which is our first piece. And we called it Rune because it was from our beginnings. So are we actually carrying your first album? Yes. Created here in Poland? Yes, here in Poland. Yeah. Are you an independent artist? Yes, I am an independent artist. So um, will we find it somewhere online? Mm -hmm. On Spotify? Cool. On iTunes. I'll drop the link. Um, well, do you have, I always love to ask my, my guest um, about this. Do you have any message to pass on onto our youngest viewers? Youngest viewers, be yourself and find others who relate to you. And finance <laughs> others. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I said. I respect you, but I think that's what's happening in the younger generation from my point of view. They're not being themselves. They're being something they want to be or they're being something they think they need to be. It's hard to be yourself in a generation that is absorbed by the internet. 
Right. Our generation, we had the internet, we had TV, you know, we had a few people we really enjoyed, but we, we kind of found ourselves around high school, college, a little bit later. Right. Some a little earlier, but the younger generation, it's a lot of them that are followers. And I, right. I feel for them because they struggle with depression and all these things that they say are really hard. It's because you're not being you. Imagine a dog that's supposed to be a racing dog stuck in a cage all day. I totally agree. And I thank you so much for this, uh, for all these inspirational words of your wisdom. And this is just one of the notions, but I invite you all to to other stuff, to just be out there. <laughs> thank you, Blue. Thank you. It's been an, it's been a pleasure.